What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe. Please subscribe down below. So today's video we are going to be putting together right there. We are going to be pulling out his uh, engine swapped uh, 300ZX. So what motor is that again? Uh, VH45DE. VH45DE. So this was a twin turbo, the motor blew. So then he bought an engine and they just put it in for him. And then the car's been sitting here for like three years, about so. But yeah, this is his 300. We're gonna get started on building that right now, but let's check out the car that he's gonna be using it for. Needs a lot of work. All right, let's get to it. Okay. Those. All right, everyone, so we laid out everything. So we have every single piece that we need. Right here, this is for the engine to slide onto the to this part, and this is for the transmission side of the engine. And you came with six wheels, two locking, two bigger wheels compared to the smaller ones right here. So six in total. My brother's laying out the bolts, and yes, we are reading instructions. Unlike everything that I do. All right, everything's laid out. We're gonna do it step by step. 2,000 pound heavy duty. All right. Then that's my jack. My brother has those two low profile jacks. We got our energy drinks right here. Cool. We started off putting the rear uh, brakes on, like that one. So you need a 14 socket, a short socket, and a 13 combination wrench to get inside of that well to install that on. So to hold the bolt in, we put plastic in here to help us put it in. That's what she said. But here you go, RJ doing the top two and then we're to the bottom two. All right, next is the middle casters. It'll be the smaller wheels of the six. And you're gonna need a 14, sorry for the chicken, a 14 and a Phillips to tighten that. All right, the next step is putting these arms in. There's a couple pins on each side, just like that. The last ones. Are they the Phillips two or uh, 13 14? The 13 14 combo. 13 14 combo. All right, now that the last we set of wheels are on, on to the next step. Which is what, RJ? Uh, attaching the column. The column, attaching the column. Right here? Yeah. And probably use these bad boys. Are they all the same? No. So these ones are shorter and fatter and these ones are a lot longer. But I want to make sure I put the right one because I don't want them to snap or yeah. bend. Instructions with the longer bolts. Use a washer, then a nut, which is a, not a 21, it's a 22, a 22 millimeter. What's this third hole for? That's just there. Okay. 
All right, it's coming together. Yes, Emmett. Papa, you scared the birdies. I scared the birdies away. Oh. Yeah. All right, it's coming along. Nice. Next step, we put on these two braces right here and to the bottom right here. Put the washer on that side. The washer right here. Then my brother's gonna tighten it up. Pretty cool. All right. So we're gonna. What is this piece called? That I don't know. I'm gonna say the engine mounting plate. The so engine. That, that sounds appropriate. All right. So we're gonna grease it up. So it'll be easier to spin and to take it out. So I have my grease gun right here. So I'm gonna give a couple of squeezes. Where, where are you pointing at? No, I don't know where the tip is. Where is it? All right. Cool. And then you have a grease fitting up top too right here. Nice. Well, so we can put that on there too. Pull it out. So much for not being messy. Well, I didn't see the fitting up there. Neither did I. Or I didn't notice it, I should say. So our goal is to put this clip. But we don't got the right tools. So we don't have the right tools for that. All right. We used a, a flathead and then the two vice grips. And then I kind of like pried it on. So it's stuck right here. So my brother's going to get a hammer and then chisel it over to the, to the crease where it needs to go. Instead of going to AutoZone or, or O'Reilly's. Bottom side. <laughs> Is there a pin locking those in the holes or no? Mm -hmm. There you go. That's in. Hell yeah. Teamwork. Got it in. Is that it? Or just the handle to pump it, right? Or what is this for? To turn it? So. And then those four bolts? This little is just a little rubber cover. Did the holes line up? Yeah. Oh, did you line them up? Sorry. Oh. Yeah, my bad. Yes, I did. So that's this. This is just the This pin. is for here? Yeah, and all it does, we find wherever we want to lock the thing, and that's it. it. Stops it from rotating so we can work on it. Solid, and what are those? These? These that's are... for the plate? For this? Yeah, and then this goes on this thing. For maximum turning. And those pieces are for that? Yep. Solid. Oh, poor Mishka there, just chilling. So how long did this take you? Too long. Too long. Two hours. It took us two hours to get this done. Did it really? Yeah, it was two hours. That's depressing. How long did it say? It didn't say, but... Does it say? It doesn't say the time. But yeah, it took two hours man don't say it was two hours i had to switch out laundry and like do all other stuff <laughs> well two hours i switched the flat tires on the cougar i used the air compressor too so we're doing two different things but yeah it took two hours so this is my dad's 1973 ford mercury cougar let's go scoot back a little bit it has a 351 cleveland in it but let's get back to this this is the video for this so that's it. All right. He's waiting for someone in the YouTube com in the comments to be like, it took 10 minutes. And I'll be like, so. So this is the engine stand. The next video is going to be about the, the crane or the engine hoist. But yeah, this video is the engine stand. You happy? I'm stoked. All Step right. Step one of getting this piece of crap running. 
engine swap the V8 over twin turbos. Don't drop my energy drink. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you guys for watching. The next video will be about the, the hoist. But thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next one. Peace.